Welcome to Journalists on Journalism, a weekly podcast that provides unparalleled insight into the lives of journalists eminent in the field. This series is brought to you by Stanford's Master's in Journalism program. For more information on future speakers and to listen to previous podcasts, visit journalism.stanford.edu. Ryan Lizza currently serves as the New Yorker's Washington correspondent covering national politics and the 2012 presidential campaign. He joined the New Yorker after working as a political correspondent for the New Republic from 1998 to 2007. Before that, Lizza served as a correspondent for GQ magazine. He has written for the New York Times, Washington Monthly, and the Atlantic Monthly. He lives in Washington, D.C. I became one of these, you know, really dorky political junkies in about 1994. Four or five. I remember at that time thinking that I just knew nothing about politics and was sort of dumbstruck by how this major event in America could happen, and I literally had no basis or background for understanding what had, what had gone on because I just wasn't paying attention at all. One of the challenges of being a reporter is striking a balance between becoming familiar with your source and maintaining enough distance to write about them objectively. I still had this love and passion for magazines and knew that that's probably where I would end up. The New Yorker was in the market for a new Washington correspondent, and so I ended up there and have been there for the last, you know, four plus years. Recently, Liz has spent time with Michelle Bachman on the campaign trail. Politicians are the most covered people in, in public life these days. I mean, they rival celebrities for how much attention they get, and they have obviously incredibly professional staffs whose job it is is to keep you away and not let you get too close. Very, very rare to get that kind of access to someone who at that time was a, a serious presidential candidate. I don't think she is as much anymore. Lizzie encourages reporters to look at the political figures around them and anticipate who is going to be interesting in the future, not just look at who is interesting at the moment. I started writing about Barack Obama in 2004, and the first piece I ever wrote about him was in the spring of 04 for The Atlantic, when he was just, you know, he was just sort of climbing into the rocket ship. It hadn't taken off yet, but you could, you know, but he was a big enough deal that national magazines were taking an interest in him. Writing for a magazine is unique in that the writer does not always need to maintain relationships with sources the way a beat reporter does. You know, assigned by the New York Times to cover the same person for a year and you're on a beat writing about that person every day, this, you know, very delicate relationship about uh, and the interaction between your coverage and your access is uh, is going to be much more complicated than if you're writing about Michelle Bachman once and are probably never going to write about her again. As funding for newspapers dwindle, younger reporters are being hired to cover presidential campaigns, usually the realm of older, more seasoned reporters. There's a more youthful contingent out there um, who have been raised more on uh, online culture and, and blog culture just coming out of school that are um, that are relied upon more than some of the older and frankly more expensive reporters. As technology evolves, younger journalists are utilizing social networking to connect with readers and other writers. I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty high on it right now. The speed at which you learn about significant developments in the campaign or whatever it is you're interested in, it, you can't it can't be matched by anything else. Ultimately, journalists must adapt as the field of journalism continues to evolve.